Good evening, everybody. Welcome to our Eucharist on this Thursday, the 11th of June. Usually this day is the feast day of what we know as Corpus Christi, which is the, the Thanksgiving for Holy Communion. But I decided that that celebration is best had when we're all together in church sharing communion. It just didn't feel, sit with me right uh, to keep the feast of Corpus Christi in this distanced way. Um, and it just so happens that the 11th of June actually is the feast of a Saint Barnabas. Um, he's known as one of the apostles. He's not one of the 12 apostles uh, that were chosen by Jesus, but he's counted among them because he was a companion of Saint Paul uh, as well. Um, so we're going to be learning a bit more about St Barnabas but um, you might already know that his name means son of encouragement and I thought that celebrating his feast day today would really be a good thing given the circumstances that we're living in at the moment. So I hope you will enjoy our service this evening and as we usually do, um, do join in at home with the words in yellow as they come up on the screen. Shall I just move my slides ready? Ready to begin our service. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. So we say together, Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. So we come to confess our sins together. Taking a moment to just call to mind our faults and failings. We have not always worshipped God, our Creator. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. We have not always followed Christ, our Saviour. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. We have not always trusted in the Spirit, our Guide. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, Confirm and strengthen you in all goodness and keep you in life eternal through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So the collect for St Barnabas Day. Bountiful God, giver of all gifts, who poured your spirit upon your servant Barnabas and gave him grace to encourage others, help us by his example to be generous in our judgments and unselfish in our service, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Those who were scattered because of the persecution that took place over Stephen travelled as far as Phoenicia, Cyprus and Antioch, and they spoke the word to no one except Jews. But among them were some men of Cyprus and Cyrene, who on coming to Antioch spoke to the Hellen Hellenists also, proclaiming the Lord Jesus. The hand of the Lord was with them, and a great number became believers and turned to the Lord. News of this came to the ears of the church in Jerusalem, and they sent Barnabas to Antioch. When he came and saw the grace of God, he rejoiced, and he exhorted them all to remain faithful to the Lord with steadfast devotion. For he was a good man, full of the Holy Spirit and of faith, and a great many people were brought to the Lord. Then Barnabas went to Tarsus to look for Saul, and when he had found him, he brought him to Antioch. So it was that for an entire year they met with the church and taught a great many people, and it was in Antioch that the disciples were first called Christians. At that time prophets came down from at Jerusalem to Antioch, one of them, named Agabus, stood up and predicted by the Spirit that there would be a severe famine over all the world, and this took place during the reign of Claudius. The disciples determined that according to their ability, each would send relief to the believers living in Judea. This they did, sending it to the elders, 
by Barnabas and Saul. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I do not call you servants any longer, because the servant does not know what the master is doing. But I have called you friends, because I have made known to you everything that I have heard from my father. You did not choose me, but I chose you, and I appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last, so that the Father will give you whatever you ask in my name. I am giving you these commands, so that you may love one another. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. So may I speak in the name of the living God, who is Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, let me read to you the little blurb. We usually have, a, we use this fantastic book called Exciting Holiness on our saints' days and there's always a blurb on the saint of the day. So this is what it says about Barnabas. Though not named among the twelve apostles or the evangelists, Barnabas emerges in the Acts of the Apostles as one of the most significant of their number. He sold his estate and gave the proceeds to the church, since all things were to be held in common. He clearly became a leader. He is described as a Levite from Cyprus, so, like his friend Paul, was from the Greek world rather than of Palestine. And he introduced Paul to the leaders of the church in Jerusalem. He was sent to Antioch apparently to guide the Christians there in their relations with non-Jewish converts, promoting the concept of all being one in Christ. He broke with Paul to go to Cyprus and tradition has it that he was martyred there in the year 61. You may not be aware that Barnabas' real name was actually Joseph. Barnabas is just a nickname and that's the name that he's come to be known by. You might remember that the, the, the prefix Bar means son of, so Bar Nabas was his nickname, meaning son of encouragement. How fantastic to have a nickname like that. I wonder if what your nickname would be if you had a spiritual nickname, what would people call you? I would love to be known as a daughter of encouragement. I think it's one of those virtues that's lacking actually. Um, and every church needs a Barnabas. We all need a Barnabas in our life at some point or other. I'm sure you can think of people who have encouraged you along the way and encouraged you in the faith. So let's take that message from the life of Barnabas. He gave everything he had. He sold his house to pay for the church and he gave his whole life uh, to share his faith about Jesus. And he became known famously as an encourager. And I hope we all might be able to do the same. So maybe there's somebody that you can encourage this week, even if you're not feeling great at the moment yourself. Perhaps you can encourage somebody else and maybe it will come back to you in another way. So we take that inspiration from Barnabas today. We need all the encouragement we can get at the moment, don't we? So let us pray. Let us by prayer and intercession with thanksgiving make our requests to God. Gracious God, we pray for peace, justice and reconciliation throughout the world. We pray for the honouring of human rights and for the relief of the oppressed. We give thanks for all that is gracious in the lives of men, women and children. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. <clears throat> we pray for the renewal of the church in faith, love and service. We pray for Libby, our bishop, and for the life of this community, especially as the lockdown restrictions are eased and our life changes once again. We give thanks for the gift of your word the grace of the sacraments and the fellowship of your people. 
Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for this local community and for all people in their daily life and work. We pray for the young and the elderly, for families and all who are alone. We give thanks for human skill and creativity and all that reveals your loveliness. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are in need, for the sick, the sorrowful and the bereaved. And we pray especially by name for Jean Mercer, for Claire, for Gordon Bradbury as he recovers from his pacemaker operation, for John Wybrow as he settles into his new care home, and for Reverend David Hull as he has his treatment for cancer. We pray for all who bring comfort, care and healing. We give thanks for human love and friendship and for all that enriches our daily lives. So let us commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. So now we come to share the peace. Christ is our peace. He has reconciled us to God in one body by the cross and we meet in his name and share his peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you and also with you. Let us share with those in our household a sign of peace and share one virtually over the internet, a sign of peace as well. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes, we need the slide. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to set before you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to set before you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us the cup of salvation. Blessed be God forever. The Lord be with you and also with you. Lift up your hearts to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. Father, you made the world and love your creation. You gave your son, Jesus Christ, to be our saviour. His dying and rising have set us free from sin and death. And so we gladly thank you with saints and angels praising you and saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We praise and bless you, loving Father, through Jesus Christ our Lord. And as we obey his command, send your Holy Spirit, that broken bread and wine outpoured may be for us the body and blood of your dear Son. On the night before he died, he had supper with his friends, and taking bread he praised you. He broke the bread, gave it to them and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. When supper was ended, he took the cup of wine. Again he praised you, gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. So, Father, we remember all that Jesus did, 
In him we plead with confidence his sacrifice made once for all upon the cross. Bringing before you the bread of life and cup of salvation, we proclaim his death and resurrection until he comes in glory. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Lord of all life, help us to work together for that day when your kingdom comes and justice and mercy will be seen in all the earth. Look with favour on your people. Gather us in your loving arms and bring us with the Blessed Virgin Mary, St Barnabas and all the saints to feast at your table in heaven. Through Christ and with Christ and in Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory are yours, O loving Father, for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. As our Saviour has taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Jesus, Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Jesus, bearer of our sins, have mercy on us. Jesus, Redeemer of the world, grant us your peace. The body of Christ broken for the whole world. The blood of Christ shed for the whole world. The body of Christ. The blood of Christ. And so we say together. Thanks be to you, Lord Jesus Christ, for all the benefits you have given me, for all the pains and insults you have borne for me. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart. O oh, most merciful Redeemer, friend and brother, may I know you more clearly, love you more dearly, and follow you more nearly, day by day. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, in these days of mercy, make us quiet and prayerful. In these days of challenge, make us stronger in you. In these days of emptiness, take possession of us. In these days of waiting, open our hearts to the mystery of your cross. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us bow our heads to receive God's blessing. The peace of God which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you this day and always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord, in the name of Christ. Amen. Thank you for coming this evening and joining us in worship. Um, 
next time we have a service will be on Sunday. The service will be available on YouTube and our website from 8am. And our guest preacher this week is our placement student, Malcolm. It will be the last time he preaches for us. Uh, so do tune in on Sunday and we'll see you then. Take care, everyone. Bye.